Zone dispatching and setting up of backup zones has been greatly enhanced. Previously, zone setup was stored in each zone record and was found by navigating to the path admin config zones zone list and clicking edit on any zone record. At the bottom of the zone record, the backup zones would be listed and would have to be set up. In Dispatch 213, a new user interface has been added to allow setup and control of all zone dispatching. This will allow for zone control to be centralized and easily configurable. There are two parts to this interface. Part 1, the zone profile. This can be found on the operator screen from admin config zone profiles. In the zone profiles grid, any zone that has been created on the system will be listed on the left. Each row of the grid corresponds to each zone. In our test zone pick, there are currently no zones listed. The grid is clickable and draggable. For pick zone, the primary zone can be added by double clicking on the cell and entering in the zone name and pressing enter. Backup zones can be added in the same fashion in the backup columns. If in this example you see that the dispatching order is not right in the back of zones then the zones can be dragged and rearranged as needed. We will drag the WD zone to back of 1 and we will drag the T1 zone to back of 2. As it currently stands bookings in the pick zone will look for any available vehicle in the pick zone first then in the WD zone then in the T1 zone. Up to 20 backup zones can be added in this fashion, whereby each zone is checked looking for an available vehicle. Zones can also be grouped into cells. When zones are grouped into a single cell, then they will all be searched at the same time. As it currently stands there, bookings coming into the pick zone will dispatch to and look for drivers available in the pick zone and the WD zone at the same time. Then if no vehicle is found, then it will move to the T1 zone. Any number of zones can be added to the one cell. When a cell contains multiple zones, the order in which they are listed on the grid does not relate to the order in which they are searched. So the pick zone will not be searched first and then the WD zone. All zones will be searched in at the same time. When you are happy with the list of zones used for dispatch, be it in the primary and the backups, hit save. Now that we have set out our list of zones, we will now specify how bookings will be handled in those zones. Right click will allow configuration of how to handle pre-bookings and ASAP bookings. The same options on the left are on the right. 
pre-booking options are on the left, ASAP booking options are on the right. From the top left, you can specify if you want to offer a pre-booking as a job, a blue job, or as a green bid. The same on the right for ASAP jobs or for now jobs. Then you can set the setting for do I want pre-bookings to go out in the queue, i.e. by parking to the first driver or to the closest driver, or do I want pre-bookings to not dispatch. The same options apply to as soon as possible jobs. Go to the first driver in the queue, go to the closest driver, or do not dispatch ASAP jobs. As each option is chosen on the pop-up, the cell will change color to indicate the setting. Changing ASAP to bids and pressing save will change the right hand of the cell to, in to show that ASAP bookings will go out as a bid but pre-bookings will still go out as a blue job. Right click again change it back to job, press save, everything returns to the default, everything will go out as a blue job. Right click again, if we change pre-bookings from queue to proximity to use the closest driver, then the background of the cell will change to yellow. Right click, go back in, set to queue, this time set ASAP bookings. To go to the proximity to the closest driver, press save, the right hand of the cell will change to yellow. Setting back to Q, everything goes back to blue. For the, la for the third option of the dispatch type, none, this brings into play the last setting, which is a time setting. The time is a condition that when set means that drivers must be waiting at least that amount of time in that zone in order to be applicable for this job. Setting it to 10 minutes and saving means that all drivers in the zones, in the primary, for pre-bookings only, must be waiting at least 10 minutes to get the job. Those that are waiting more than 10 minutes are then applicable for the job. This is indicated with the purple in the background for pre-bookings. With the right click, change it back to never, change it back to the standard queue, everything goes back to normal. Right click for ASAP bookings, change it to none, change it to five minutes, applying the same logic. The right hand side of the panel goes purple, meaning that all drivers in those zones must be waiting at least five minutes before they become applicable for the ASAP job. Any combination of settings can be used for each of the cells. If we reset our primary back to the default, then we can add in proximity, bid, save, so for pre-bookings, they will be sent out as blue job alerts. For ASAP bookings, it will send out as green bids. Right click on the backup zone, set that as a bid. Set pre-bookings and ASAP as bids, it all goes green. Any combination is possible with the right click. We're setting our zones back to the default. show the best and recommended way to use the timing setting. In a normal everyday example you will probably have one zone in the primary and just one in the backup and then one as backup two. I'll move the NQ zone over and remove the excess zones for this test. So for pick jobs coming into the pick zone go out as blue for both pre-bookings and ASAP bookings. Dispatch will then look to the backup zone T1 see if there's any drivers available. If there is no drivers available, then it will look to backup 
zone 2, in this case the NQ zone. The recommended way of setting up zones for using the longest waiting time is to move all your zones to the right, then in the primary, enter in all of your zones, right click on the primary, set the pre-booking to none, I set the time limit to 10, press save, this will mean that any pre-bookings that come into the pick zone will scan all zones looking for a driver who has been waiting for more than 10 minutes. If no driver is found, then dispatch will continue as normal, where the pre-booking will then look to the pick zone for the first available driver, then the T1 zone for the first driver, and then the NQ zone. By default, the zone grid will be created in the default dispatch profile. Multiple profiles though can be created. Inside the default dispatch profile, click copy this profile, give it a name, test profile, 100, confirm. All of the zones will be copied over. Everything will be in grey to show that all of the zones in use will be the same as the one in the dispatch profile. To change this profile and customize it to be different from the dispatch profile, double click on any cell, add in a zone, when you press enter all the zones will be in blue to show that these zones have changed since the default dispatch profile. It's going to be saved. And also for each profile, a schedule can be set. Setting a schedule means that for only those times will that profile be active. And you can set as many schedules as you want for the one profile. Part 2, Zone Manager. Control of all of the profiles is done from the operator screen. And Alt G press will bring up the Zone Manager. Access to changing and viewing this Zone Manager is in has to be granted through the staff record, this dispatch controller advanced role. From the zone manager, we can see which profile is active. We can pause that profile for a certain number of minutes, up to two hours, which will count down until it becomes active again. When paused, we can manually activate another profile to immediately bring in a different configuration of zones. At the bottom, we have a dispatch limit. Again, further configuration, further control over what happens. The dispatch limit itself will, from here you can specify how many zones and backup zones across the grid from left to right will be used. Setting it to backup 1 means that only the primary and the backup 1 zones will be used in the grid. Backup 2, 3, 4 and 5 will not be used. Priority travels means that uh, which priority a job must be in order for the zone rules and the dispatching rules to be ignored and for the booking to go out looking for the closest driver. Auto dispatch at the bottom will stop and pause all jobs and will stop automatic dispatching.